Hey guys, I'm Natalie. This is Hey It's a Good Life and I'm so glad you're here because I want to say welcome to the new homestead. As most of you guys already know, we moved from Orange County to San Diego County in California. We feel blessed beyond our wildest dreams. We've moved from apartment homesteading to suburban homesteading in a beautiful home. And in so many ways, this is a new chapter for us as a family, but also for Hey It's a Good Life. And that's why today I wanted to do a little bit of a different kind of video. And it's actually gonna be a tag video, so stay tuned to the end to see who I tag. Guys, this is our house. We have a lemon tree over here in our front yard. This is my front porch where I come out every morning with our cats, and they like to eat the grass, and I like to feed the birds. Give you guys a sneak peek of how this new kitchen is coming along. Okay, we still have a ways to go. I promise we're gonna do a full tour very soon. But right now what I wanna do is I wanna take you guys to our backyard. Welcome to our new backyard. So as I considered, how do we want to start this new chapter of Hey, It's a Good Life? We've got a blog coming soon. We're figuring out the social media stuff. We've got so many new friends and faces here. We've got a new home and a whole new adventure that awaits us. And spring is just around the corner. And so new life, new beginnings. It just really had me thinking. And I actually filmed a whole video about our plans for the suburban homestead potage garden. Filmed it, I loved it. And then we got to the audio and the audio was totally shot. Now, I don't know about you, but I've learned to take hiccups or bumps in the road as guidance from God, from the universe, that maybe that's not the way for me to go that day. And I could feel it in my gut. If I was honest with myself, I was like very torn. I was like, I don't know, like, is this the way that I should go? So I sat with it a little bit and I started to think about how in the time that I've been kind of away from social media and away from YouTube and moving to San Diego, I realized that this house is the product of saying yes to a dream. This place, this blank space, is the product of stepping out into what I truly believe is my calling on my life, which is to run a healing homestead. And that journey started in an apartment because of the people who have gone before us who said, I wish I had started in the city. I wish I had started before I had the farm. Well, friends took a page out of their book. And honestly, my friend Jess over at Roots and Refuge had a super convicting devotional. It's called For Those Waiting on the Fulfillment of Their Farm Dreams. Dreams don't just happen overnight, and there is something incredibly necessary about waiting well. So I decided to take her up on that challenge, and I learned to wait well. I said a yes to homesteading. I said yes to the dream that I had kind of put on the back burner, if I'm honest. And I decided to start doing what I could on our apartment patio. And boy, did my world change. I started documenting the progress. I started making friends on social media. I started finding like-minded people who shared the same passions and interests as me, which was really mind-blowing because I felt really isolated and I felt really alone. And I felt like, who else in the world is interested in this stuff? Am I just totally lame that I would like to live in the country and live a simple life and like have some land and animals and do my healing homestead thing and put my degrees to work and agriculture and love of nature and wanting the best food for my family like is that really so odd no it's not so odd and you guys taught me that and I want to say thank you for that thank you for being my new friends here um, I'm really touched to make your acquaintance here and you guys have changed my life so I want to say thank you for that <laughs> okay now saying yes to these dreams was not without its challenges as many of you guys know shortly after starting hey it's a good life really in the same month I lost my ability to sit, walk, or stand. There was a point where my mobility was so low, I could literally only take six steps to the bathroom to use the bathroom once a day. It was bad, you guys. And I haven't shared the full story on here, and maybe one day I will. But I find that really interesting, that the minute I say yes to what I believe is the calling on my life, that I get taken out. Does anybody else find that interesting? I find that pretty interesting. And so here's what I've come to believe about dreams. Dreams and saying yes to calling are incredibly important things in life. Having big dreams and stepping out in obedience and stepping out in faith is a big deal. And if you're a spiritual person like me, well, the darkness, Satan, 
whatever you want to call him, he's not going to like that very much. And there's going to be pushback and you have to keep pushing forward. And friends, thank you for helping me push forward in those dark times because we made it through. I can walk again. I can sit, walk, stand, and I'm almost back to running again. So close. But all that to say, the dreams that God gives us are important to listen to. And I truly believe that God gives us passions in our hearts for a reason, for a purpose. And that purpose is divine, you guys. That purpose is divine. So we stepped out and we said yes. And we started growing things in our apartment patio. And now with a clearer vision and a clearer calling, God has blessed us with a home. Look at all this space, you guys. So much gardening is gonna happen here. Over here, we're gonna plant all pollinator friendly plants. We're gonna make it a total pollinator garden and I want to actually get it certified and get my little plaque that says, this is an ecological preserve, ecological oasis for pollinators. Right over here, this guy, this area, is where we're going to grow a 500 square foot suburban homestead Potager garden. We're gonna grow tomatoes and cucumbers and all sorts of wonderful things in this garden, you guys, and I'm so excited. And we're gonna do it all frugally because that is so important to me. Guys, this is important. Grow your own food and do it frugally. It is possible. It is possible to make your own raised garden beds on a dime, you guys, less than 20 bucks. I think I got the last ones down to about $13. And guys, I'm just gonna throw this out there. When you sign up for my blog, you're gonna get a free blueprint sent straight to your email so that you too can start your homestead dreams. Right here is where we're going to have our giant table where we're gonna hang this beautiful chandelier because guys, this place isn't just for us. And I hope that any place that we have isn't just for us. I hope it's for everybody. I hope it's for friends and families and bridal showers and baby showers and so much more because when God blesses us, we have one goal. Our joint mission in life is to be hospitable. And so we want this place to be an oasis, not just for pollinators, but for people too. As we build all of this, my goal is to help people feel like, yes, they can start homesteading even if they live in the city. Ultimately, I want to inspire, empower, and equip other people to feel like they can take the next steps towards growing their own food, reversing climate change, giving their family the best, reconnecting with nature, living a more natural lifestyle. All of these things are so important. This is my dream and I hold it close to my heart. This is going to be our rental friendly suburban homestead, you guys. It's going to happen and I'm so excited to share the journey with you. By the way, if I haven't mentioned it already, it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be functional, and it's going to be fruitful because you know your girl loves a good deal. I'm going to be totally honest with you that sometimes it is very difficult to think that this will only be here for a little bit in our lives. It's difficult to think that you could pour so much work into something only to move in one, two, three years. But it doesn't matter where we go. This is all part of the journey of saying yes to the greater vision and the greater dream and the greater calling. And more than anything, I hope to leave a legacy. I hope that when the owners or the next renters get here, they say yes please leave all of this stuff because this is amazing and we want to do this too. So I'm okay with that. It's hard, but I'm okay with that. So dreams are important. They mean something. And with all of that said, friends of mine, my OG crew had some incredible success on YouTube and I'm so happy for them because here's the thing. And this is my belief. When we learn to rejoice with other people in their celebrations, we bring more joy into our lives. That's our calling as believers to mourn with people who mourn and to rejoice with people who rejoice. So if there's something to celebrate, I wanna hop in on that. And that hasn't always been my heart. I will just be honest with you guys. I have had difficulties in my life when I had my own pain, when it felt like everybody else was getting married except for me, or everybody else is buying a house except for us. And that's comparison, and that's why we don't compare, because comparison is the thief of joy. We know that. So I learned to grow out of that. Honestly, one of my dearest friends, Kristen, is so amazing at celebrating other people that she was one of the people that blessed me with understanding how do we do that and so in the last two weeks there's a part of me that says oh no i don't want to lose momentum i was doing so well but at the same time you guys moving is stressful and in the meantime why not celebrate with friends why not watch their dreams come to fruition and say yes i'm going to be here to celebrate with you so dreams are important they're there for a reason they bring purpose and a plan to our lives and when other people's dreams start to come to fruition well we can have a lot of joy by joining in that with them and rooting them on and saying i'm here for you i'm so excited for you i'm so pumped i'm so jazzed what a gift to celebrate with them and to experience more joy in our lives so why bother saying any of this why is any 
of this important? Well guys, I've got a challenge for some of my new very dear friends that I have grown to love so much. I wanna challenge actually quite a few of channels. I came across a quote recently that embodies how I feel about celebrating other people. And that quote goes like this, I'm not interested in competing with anybody. I hope we all make it. So now for the challenge. I wanna tag some of my new and dear friends that I've made through this journey. I wanna tag the following channels in this challenge. And the challenge is share with me your dreams. So I just shared with you guys my dream. My dream is to run a healing homestead. I wanna know what your dreams are. Then I wanna root for you. So I challenge you guys to do the same. Consider what is your dream? And are you willing to tag a couple people and say, I'm rooting for you and your dreams too. The people I wanna tag in this video are the following. Jessica from Roots and Refuge, Kaylee from the Farm on Quail Hollow, Josh over at the City Stead, VW Family Farms, the Haskins Family Vlog, Elk and Anchor Homestead, Sow the Land, Forgotten Way Farms, Bare Bottom Acres, Cog Hill Farm, and Rebecca Rhodes. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. If something you heard here blesses you, of course, share it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and of course, comment below. Guys, I wanna hear your dreams too. If you don't have a channel, that's okay. I still wanna hear your dreams. So if you're willing, leave your dreams in the comments down below. I would love to root for you and celebrate with you as you reach these dreams and goals. Mm -hmm.